only on the Science Channel. In our first three connections, we've linked invisible gorillas to traffic accidents and to shooting stars. Now in weird connection number four, Flying Blind, your pilot on brain overload and the high-tech gadgets that can save us from disaster. You could call them the Flying Professors of the University of Iowa, and they are on a mission. They want to take the discoveries of Connection 3 out of the lab and into the sky, where a large number of plane crashes are attributed to pilot error. Our hope is that we can use this data to build a computer program which would then read the pilot's vital signs, if you will, in real time and figure out what the pilot's brain is doing. Industrial engineer and pilot Tom Schnell believes inattentional blindness may be the cause of many aviation mishaps, along with overconfidence. We ask pilots how well they think they did, and, and typically you would find them way overestimating their own ability to uh, fly a specific maneuver. Could precision-trained flyers suffer from the same malady as everyday road warriors with self-service? Are these hardcore multitaskers putting their brains on circuit overload at just the wrong moment? Dr. Schnell asked a professional pilot to don an EEG cap that would help screen brain activity for inattentional blindness while on mid-air flight maneuvers. The pilot would perform a series of increasingly complex moves to see how much his brain could process before safety became an issue. His brain activity was constantly monitored and recorded. The first move was relatively easy for any flyer with experience. Rock the plane's wings from side to side. This is basically rocking your wings 30 feet angle back. EEG measured a moderate amount of brain activity. The second move was more challenging. The pilot was required to change speeds from slow to fast and back again. He handled it expertly, but his brain registered that it was hard at work. Now, the final task. Difficult to do, particularly when performed 20,000 feet in the air. And the next one is going to be neurons hitting the fan. The pilot was asked to combine the two preceding moves at once, which would require an enormous amount of multitasking. From 130, rocking your wings on the head, suddenly heading, so whenever you want to. Watch carefully. The move looks and is dangerous. Now you're back on the other side, getting faster. The pilot's brain simply cannot handle it all and he can't complete the maneuver. And the EEG confirms that part of his brain has shut down. The sign that inattentional blindness is the culprit. This is a very hard maneuver, as you not believe. The results prove Schnell right. The pilot's concentration during difficult maneuvers could leave him blind to other visual information, like seeing another plane. Thanks to the gorilla you can't see, we can now clearly see at what point a pilot's brain is on informational overload. The final stage of this journey flies in the face of the future with weird connection number five, the smart instrument panel of tomorrow. Not just steering controls and scopes, it screens the pilot's brain for overload and takes action. Where is the person's focus of attention? Is it on the flight instruments? Is it out the window? Uh, because maybe the avionics is aware of something being on the runway, realizing too that the pilot isn't looking out the window, and maybe there's a way how the avionics could cue the pilot towards looking outside the window. Remember that eye tracker used as a part of the driving simulation? Someday it may find its way into the cockpit as standard safety equipment. Avionics systems and also flight training systems should really start to use eye tracking technology because it is so robust 
and relatively simple. It could be very easily integrated in a flight deck, giving the avionics a sense of where the pilot is getting uh, the information needed for flight. An extra pair of eyes that can't fall prey to human limitations of inattentional blindness. In airplane development, we will see smarter and smarter avionics. They should behave in the future like a, a smart crew member who assists you in f performing the flight. We've been blinded by an inborn flaw in our brain and the new cultural myth of multitasking. Someday we may no longer have to pay the price in highway death and air disaster. Until then, respect your brain as the powerful yet limited tool that it is and concentrate on the task at hand one thing at a time. Science.